Hey, I'm Creech. This is Creech and Cars. After making waves with its fully electric, full-size luxury sedan, the Air, Lucid is now poised to bring a large luxury electric SUV to market. So today, I'll be going over everything you need to know about the Lucid Gravity. The Lucid Gravity is an upcoming luxury electric SUV. The configurator is supposed to go live in early 2023, and deliveries are expected to begin sometime in 2024, although you can join a waitlist now. The Gravity is slated to compete with rival models like the Tesla Model X, Mercedes EQS, SUV, and the Audi e-tron to name a few. Pricing is expected to start around $90,000 and go way up from there. Let's start by taking a look at the exterior. The Gravity looks very similar to Lucid's sedan, the Air, and Lucid is definitely well on its way to developing its own distinctive look and design language, as the Gravity really is just an SUV version of the Air. The front end shares the same headlights and light bar, topped with a silver trim piece, and Lucid is spelled out and lighted above that. Then there are some vertical running lights that look a little Cadillac-esque to me. Coming around to the side, the gravity keeps a low roof line and headroom might end up being a little tight when it comes to production. The gravity also has the same silver pillar supports for the glass roof that are found on the air. It has small mirrors and flush door handles to give it a clean profile overall. And in the back, the large light bar is the main feature, and it wraps around the smooth corners a little bit. Below that, there is a silver trim piece and a matte black bumper. There's also a large rear window and roof racks. Overall, as you can see, the Gravity keeps the same simple, clean, and elegant design found on the air, and is a solid step towards creating the lucid look. Now let's take a look at the interior. Again, the interior shares a lot of similarities with the air. The door panels and trim are clean and simple, but some reviewers have complained that Lucid's interior materials and build quality aren't quite up to the price tag. The Gravity will likely use the same combined gauge cluster and infotainment system found in the air, as well as the lower screen for climate controls and other vehicle settings. Things like the steering wheel and seats should just be the same parts that are found in the air. The Gravity will offer multiple seating configurations, however. There will be a base five-seater with a rear bench, and then a three-row option that can be equipped with captain seats in the second row, so it would either be a six-seater with the captain's chairs, or a seven-seater with a bench in the second row and two seats in the third row. Other than the expanded space, you can expect the Gravity's interior to share a lot with the air, similarly to the exterior. The glass roof does extend all the way through the third row, which is nice for rear passengers. Overall, I like Lucid interiors, but I do agree with a lot of other reviewers that the interior isn't quite up to par with some other traditional luxury automakers. Now let's go over some mechanical and performance specs. The Gravity will likely share a good portion of its underpinnings with the Air sedan, and with that in mind, the Gravity should use the same 22 module, 112 kilowatt hour battery that the Air uses. The Air is able to achieve over 500 miles of range, but don't expect a number like that for the heavier, less aerodynamic SUV. However, the long range version should still get plenty of range, probably over 400 miles. The Gravity will certainly offer all wheel drive, and it wouldn't surprise me if all wheel drive is standard across the board. As far as performance, again the Gravity should share the same impressive performance found in the Air. It will likely use the same 670 horsepower induction motor assemblies with a dual motor option that will offer nearly 1000 horsepower. Furthermore, there may also be a high performance Sapphire edition of the Gravity. This model would boast a triple motor setup and over 1200 horsepower. Acceleration will of course be incredible for an induction motor with that power rating, but the SUV will take a hit when compared to the sedan. I would expect the base single motor gravity to do 0 to 60 in the high 3s to low 4s, and the dual motor will probably be closer to 3.5 seconds or maybe even a little less. Handling should be decent for an SUV. The gravity will have a fairly low center of gravity but it is a little boxier and bulkier than something like a Model X or e-tron. And speaking of the competition, I think what will really make it or break it for the Gravity and for Lucid as a whole is how it stacks up to the competition. For this comparison, we really do have to rely heavily on what is currently present on the Lucid Air and just assume that Lucid will be transferring a lot of the design, features, and performance over to the Gravity. So let's start with price. Lucid wasn't hesitant at all to put a big luxury price tag on the Air so I would expect the same for the Gravity. 
at a base price of around $90,000. The Gravity is more expensive than the Audi e-tron and BMW iX, but it also undercuts the Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV and most importantly the Tesla Model X. I think it's most important that the Gravity beat out the Model X for it to be successful, as these models are the most similar. Both feature luxurious and high-tech interiors, although they lack the build quality and craftsmanship buyers have come to expect from German competition. Both the Gravity and Model X will have pretty good performance, even on the base model, but the Gravity will likely beat the Model X when it comes to range and deliver more power per motor at the same time. This combined with the price difference makes the Lucid Gravity a great option in my opinion. So with all that in mind, I think it comes down to whether or not Lucid can actually deliver on it. I think the Gravity could easily outsell the Model X, but Lucid has to actually be able to produce enough cars for it to do this. So that's everything you need to know about the Lucid Gravity. Once more details are released, I might revisit the Gravity in the future, so keep an eye out for that video. But what do you think about the Gravity right now? Do you think Lucid is bringing enough to the table to effectively take on and potentially take over Tesla or even foreign EVs? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, here I discuss car news, culture, and history. This video is part of a series on the channel called Startup Showcase, where I take a look at startup car brands and their models. If you want to see more videos like this, check out the Startup Showcase playlist on the channel, and subscribe if you don't want to miss future videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.